good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy note 9 and uh, today i will root my galaxy note 9 let me tell you that this is the exynos chipset this is not the snapdragon exynos chipset is allowed to unlock the bootloader while the snapdragon is not allowed to unlock the bootloader if the bootloader is not getting unlocked we cannot flash anything you need to check the mobile phone battery must be charged around like uh, not below 30 percent above 30 percent right we have to turn on the oem unlocking so you need to save all the internal storage data before starting the procedure because during the procedure the mobile phone will get data factory reset so save the data otherwise the data will get formatted right uh, first of all connect internet or your mobile phone and then go to settings turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe then go back go to accounts backup in case if you are using samsung account sync your samsung account must remove it otherwise the recovery will not get flash same way sync your google account once and must remove it to avoid any issues later on go back then go to about phone my mobile phone model number is n960f oblique ds my mobile phone is having dual sim mobile phone so i got both ime numbers over here we'll tap the software information so my mobile phone is having latest uh, stock firmware which is one ui version 2.5 android 10 and this is the latest build number that mobile phone got now tap the build number for seven times to uh, unlock the developer options so one two three four five six seven the developer mode has been already turned on because i did that before we'll go back to settings then scroll down you will see developer options over here if the wi-fi or if the internet is connected already on the mobile phone then tap the developer options over here and you will see oem unlocking over here so i turn on the oem unlocking before when i was uh, doing the practical thing let me tell you that we have to turn on the oem unlocking to get the custom recovery if the oem unlocking is not getting turned on the recovery will never ever get flash right and after uh, turning on the oem unlo unlocking the galaxy s8 or s9 plus uh, and galaxy note 9 they requires to have factory data reset that is why i said before that save the, all the internal storage data before turning on the oem unlocking now when you turn on the oem unlocking do the factory data reset when everything's done mobile phone boot it back to stock firmware the way it is right now on, uh, on you can see my mobile phone and simply power off the mobile phone okay links are all provided in my video description this is the twrp website after clicking the link this website will get open so we have to download the twrp 37.7.0 whatever the current latest version provided just go for that but check that we have to download the dot tar right click this link other website will open then click again twrp the file will start downloading then download the magisk by going on this website then download the the play integrity fix file to make the device certified here is my downloaded folder where i have downloaded all the files already right twrp same version dot tar play integrity fix file yes we need uh, odin to flash the custom recovery and this is app release dot apk which is actually magis whatever the latest version available just go for that currently magis version that i got is 28.1 now extract the odin in same folder then uh, double click to open extract open the extracted folder of the odin double click to open the Odin click OK on this pop-up window and then click any slot I will go for AP then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will select the twrp.tar file by double clicking on it then we'll click the options on the Odin will untick the auto reboot now coming back towards the mobile phone mobile phone is supposed to be power off we have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Now you need to check the data cable. The other side of this data cable must be connected with computer. Now press and hold the volume down key, big speed key, right? And then connect the cable with the mobile phone. The mobile phone will show warning screen, release both keys. You can see that warning screen appears. On this warning screen, 
प्रेस दी वॉल्यूम अप की वंस टू बूट द मोबाइल फोन इन टू ऑड इन मोड प्रेस दी वॉल्यूम अप की वंस अगेन टू लाइट अप द स्क्रीन The Odin uh, screen is supposed to be like this. The product name is N nine six zero F. Yes, you can see the product number by booting into the Odin mode. The actual uh, product number will show on the Odin screen. Current binary, uh, yes, Samsung official. KG state must show checking. If it is showing is pre normal, you need to boot back to stock firmware. Connect the Wi-Fi. Tap to click or click the software update to check. Then boot back into Odin mode. You will see KG state will show checking after doing that. FRP lock must show off. OEM lock must show off. Now the Odin screen is supposed to be like this, so the procedure will be done perfectly. On the Odin screen, you can see that the mobile Odin al already detected the mobile phone. I have unticked the auto reboot. We'll go back to lock and then we'll cl click start to start flushing the custom recovery. And when done, click exit, go back to downloaded folder. We need to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode screen. Now check the cable must be connected. Do not disconnect the cable. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, big speed key, and power key. When mobile phone restart, release. The volume down key first. Okay. Now wait. When mobile phone vibrates, release the power key. Okay. Now wait. One, two, three, four. TWRP recovery finally appears. First, swipe to allow modification. Then check the data storage. Is it? encrypted or decrypted tap install if you cannot see any folders on the internet storage which means that storage got encrypted we have to decrypt the storage go back main screen then tap y tap format data type y e s then tap here and when done then go back to main screen tap reboot tap recovery swipe to allow modifications Finally, internal storage got appears on the computer screen with a uh, proper format. So we can copy paste. Now we'll go back to my downloaded folder and I will copy app release.apk file, which is the Magisk version. Copy from the downloaded folder, then go back to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the file on the internal storage. When done, then on the internal storage on the computer screen, click on the this file app release.apk and uh, press F2 erase the extension only apk erase apk then type zip press enter key once again click on yes so the file will convert it from apk extension to zip now come back towards the mobile phone press the power button swipe to unlock the screen and tap install and you will see the file over here. Tap to select the file and then swipe to start flashing. When done, then uh, tap reboot system to reboot the mobile phone. Now, no need to disconnect the cable because we have to copy more files. Just wait here. The mobile phone will start booting to the stock firmware. Okay, finally, first boot completed. Uh, well the uh, cable is connected that is why i can see that slow charging i will tap ok and then i will complete the setup screen definitely tap allow when you see allow access to the phone data that is why the cable is connected tap allow yes i got the internal storage once again on my computer screen i will go back to my downloaded folder and this time i will copy the play integrity fix file from the downloaded folder and also the app release.apk do not change the extension now because we have to install the apk file select these both files from the computer hard drive downloaded folder and then go to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste both files on the internal storage finally we are done from the computer disconnect the cable from the mobile phone now, first of all, go to the menu and uh, select the files. 
my files go to internet storage scroll down install the app release it is this is magic version tap to select the file then tap settings uh, turn on the allow from this source go back and then tap install when done then tap done go back to main screen or to menu you will see magis icon over here tap to open the magis your device needs additional setup for magis to work properly yes we have to reboot tap ok and just wait ok so we are back I will go once again to menu to open the magis once again and every time you open the magis you will see this pop-up window your device needs to reflash magis to work properly just tap cancel every time now on the magis tap settings scroll down turn on the zygisk then go back tap the last section modules tap install from storage then tap recent and select the my files and select the play integrity fix module file by tapping on it and done then tap ok to install and when done then go back yes we got the play integrity fix module over here do not reboot right now go back to main screen then tap settings go to menu then go to apps this one search for P L A Y. Select the Play Store first. Then tap Storage. Tap Clear Data. OK. Go back. Then go back. Select. Oh, OK. Search once again. P L A Y. Select Play Services by tapping on it. And tap Storage. Tap Manage Storage. Clear all data. OK. Done. And now we have to reboot the mobile phone. Now log in your Gmail account, then open the Play Store. Download the root checker file from the Play Store. Now tap open the Magis once again to check the integrity fix file. Tap cancel, go to modules. Just check that if there's any red lines, which means that the integrity modules is not working. If there is no red lines, means that yes, things are working perfectly. We'll go back and we'll go to menu. We'll tap the root checker to open the root checker application tap agree then tap get started tap verify root then grant tap grant and definitely you will see congratulations root access is properly installed on this device n960f galaxy note 9 in right version 10 this is how to root the galaxy note 9 having latest stock firmware now if you open the google play store you will definitely find that device will show certified if you want to check the safety net download the safety net checker check the safety net definitely it will show pass thank you see you to, uh, again in next video until then goodbye